As the time goes by, there are new versions of packages. It's good to update them periodically as not to overwhelm yourself at a later time when there may be so many breaking changes that it might feel you are rebuilding your whole app again. Of course, it's also nice to use the new features of the given packages too. Hello, welcome to Reso Code, where you are getting prepared for real app development so that you will get freelance clients or a job and be confident about the apps you build. So subscribe and hit the bell to join us on our quest for becoming in-demand Flutter developers. Now, I do not necessarily like doing parts of a series just like this, where all we are going through is updating packages but I feel it's quite important to do right now because there have been some major updates to at least three of the packages we are using here. That is Flutter Block. We have basically updated OtherRoute already, but still there are some updates. And then also there have been updates to Injectable, which are quite of a breaking changes, I could say. And because of that, it doesn't really make sense to progress forward uh, through this course and start implementing the note form user interface, the presentation layer, because we are going to write a lot of code which is not updated or up to date, should I say, to the newest standards of those given packages. So let's get right to it. We are going to update all of the packages you see here, but only some of them will give us breaking changes, thankfully. Those will be Flutter Block, or Route, and Injectable. So first up, what we want to do is to turn on the show dependency version thingy at the top of VS Code. If you are not using VS Code, I cannot really help you. You will probably just need to copy the pubspec.yaml file from the link in the video description. But if you are using VS Code and you want to follow along, I would advise you to go into the extensions tab and search for version lens like this and install it. Once you have version lens, you will be able to click on this V button in the top when you open up your popspec.yaml file. And now you're going to be able to update the dependency versions right from here without needing to check on the current version on pub.dev. So as you can see, uh, there are many updates that we can uh, perform. We are currently not going to touch Flutter block because uh, this is actually going to give us some breaking changes. But let's update freeze annotation. And you need to press twice because this caret symbol will be duplicated for some reason if you only press once. I don't know why that is, but we can live with that. Then uh, Cloud Firestore seems to be outdated. Google sign in is fine. Get it can be updated. Injectable, we are going to leave it for later. Flash bar is cool. UID can be updated. No breaking changes there. Auto route just to be safe. Let's leave it out of here for now. Then uh, KT Dart is actually already up to date. JSON annotation, cool. RX Dart and all that. And Flutter hooks, we can update it without any issues. All right. Now for the dev dependencies. So Freest can be updated just fine. Lint is up to date. Injectable, again, we do not want to touch it and neither auto route generator. So when I save this now, what we have updated are uh, all of these dependencies. You should really just check out the code from the link in the video description if you want to uh, make sure that you are on the same page with me with the same dependency versions. But regardless of that, you can see we've updated the code and when I check out possible errors, you can see that the only problems we have are info messages, uh, which we should probably take care of, but I mean, uh, it's not that bad, I would hope, I would say. So we can leave them in here so we can see we don't have any breaking errors, right? Which is nice, that's nice to see. So now we can go ahead and actually update Flutter Block to version 6.0.1. And now save pubspec YAML, which is going to perform Flutter pub get command. And now you can see that we immediately got a bunch of errors in the application layer, because after all, application layer is where we use the block package. Now, 
if you want to learn about the changes which have happened in the Flutter blog version 6.0.0 and upwards, you can check out the separate tutorial from the card in the corner. There are many awesome changes. For example, there is a simpler version of block called Qubit. We are not going to use it in this tutorial series because after all, we have already implemented all of the blocks with the regular block and not with Qubit, which is its simpler version. But definitely, if you want to learn more about this package, about how it's progressed from the version 4 to version 6, which is current, you can check out the tutorial from the card in the corner. So since we are already in the note form block, uh, there are some errors here. Basically, what's happened is that the initial state of a block is no longer provided through this getter property initial state, but instead we need to pass it to the super constructor of block. So let's just copy the initial state which was in here, note form state initial, and uh, now delete the initial state property, which is no longer serves any purpose, right? And we want to pass the initial state to the super constructor, just like this. And we have gotten rid of the error. Now we want to go through all of the blocks and do the same thing. So sign in form block. Let's scroll up. Let's cut out the initial state, delete the property and say super and paste that sign in form state initial in there. The same goes for auth block. Again, copy or cut out initial state, delete the property and say super, paste that in there. And note actor, the same thing, copy the initial state. I know it's repetitive, but that's what we just do when we migrate through different uh, library versions. So super constructor, pass it in there. Nice, and now the last one, note watcher block. All we need to do is again, cut out the initial state and tell the super constructor that this is the initial state that we wanna have in this block. And just like that, we have gotten rid of all of the errors which uh, stemmed out of us updating the block package. With this done, we can move on to the next package, which is currently outdated, which is uh, injectable. So let us update that one. All right. And also it's generator, of course. So they are now both at version 1.0.4, both injectable generator and injectable itself. So let's save that. And since we are dealing with code generation, let's actually immediately run the build command. So it's going to be flutter pub run build run watch delete conflicting outputs. Just run that. And by the way, if you have already updated to flutter 1.20, uh, you may want to downgrade to a previous version to, for example, 117.5 at the time of this recording. Hopefully these errors will go away. But as of now, the new Flutter version is just sort of broken when it comes to build runner and uh, some things. So I don't know what the people at Google are doing, releasing stable versions which are broken. But hey, that's what we have to live with. <laughs> Probably we are already used to that kind of stuff. So nothing new under the sun, right? So with the build command already run, we can see that we have a bunch of errors here uh, in injection.dart, right? It says that basically this file does not exist. Why is that? Well, that's because the file which is generated by injectable is no longer .iconfig.dart, but only .dart config.dart without the i. So once we delete this i, everything is going to be good to go again. And I actually thought that we would have more things to fix here with injectable, but it seems that uh, we are already we have already been running on a version which uh, has most of the changes which I was changing in the preparation app already done. So uh, yeah, this is the only change that uh, we need to perform to update injectable successfully. So that's cool, definitely. And now we can go to pubspec.yaml again and 
finally upgrade our route. So it's going to be version 0.6.7 and also update the generator to 0.6.8. So once we run Flutter Pub get, what's gonna happen is that we have a bunch of errors as you can see, 10 errors is what we have. So let's immediately run the build command again, because actually this router.dart file, which specifies all of the routes is correct. We just have problems in the generated file because, you know, uh, some things were probably omitted from uh, the code generation. And now it sort of doesn't make sense to the new library version, what the old generator package has generated before. So what we need to do is run again uh, the command which we all know and love so much. And once it runs, we are going to get rid of the errors, hopefully, but probably not because we have failed to pre-compile. Wow, that's really awesome. Maybe if we try to run it again, it's probably not going to work. Uh, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure that uh, this command worked just uh, literally a minute ago on this same project without doing any other changes. But hey, that's what we need to do. Okay, so after searching around Stack Overflow, one possible solution is to run flutter pub upgrade. I mean, it's weird, but uh, still. Uh, I guess the ways of Flutter are uh, sometimes pretty weird. Hopefully this will work. If not, I don't know what to do, honestly, uh, because it just worked a while ago and now it seems to not be working, but probably, hopefully it will work. Yes, it does, which is amazing. You know that feeling when uh, pub build starts working, you know that uh, you have won the lottery basically. All right, so now we're going and uh, the generated router file should be without any errors, which is what we want to see, definitely. And that's what happened. So now we have only the other errors in our presentation layer. And all of these errors stem from one simple fact. There is no longer a method on the extended navigator, which is called push replacement named. Now it's instead called replace, just like this. So if we go ahead and replace all of the files with errors, uh, which mention push replacement named with replace, also inside the splash page, replace, now we should just be able to run the app as before without any issues. And uh, if we check out pubspec.yaml file, we basically have updated everything we could. Everything says that it's either a latest version or the latest version, I should say, or there is some weird bug with the pubspec or with the version lens extension, because basically freeze annotation is already at the latest version, but it still offers us to update it, which is impossible because it's already on the latest version. But anyway, everything else is latest and the project does not give us any visible errors, which is a good thing. Of course, if you have an automated test suite, which I strongly encourage you to have, you should run that test suite whenever you update your packages, but we don't have any such thing. So we can just run the app on an actual device or on an emulator, of course, and uh, check out if it works. So it seems that it does. We can sign out, we can uh, sign in with Google and do all this stuff. So apparently everything works. We have not broken any blocks. We have not broken anything else regarding the navigation. So we know that the app is still working just as before. And this is really it for this very short video from the Domain Driven Design Flutter series, where we have just updated a bunch of packages, but this kind of a video really needed to be done 
because plugging this into any other part which is about something else would be detrimental to that part and to the focus of that particular part. So if you do not want to miss the next part of this DDD series, which is going to be about implementing the presentation layer of the note form feature. So we are actually going to start to be able to add new notes over the course of the next few parts. Definitely subscribe to this channel. Also join notification squad by hitting the bell button to make sure you grow your flutter skills because here on Reso Coder, I am determined to provide you with the best tutorials and resources so that you will become an in-demand flutter developer. And if you are serious about becoming a great flutter developer who can build real apps for clients or as a job, go to flutter.education, link is also in the video description by the way, to get the top curated flutter news and resources aimed at improving your app development career. Over there you can also subscribe to my mailing list to get the best flutter resources delivered weekly right into your inbox. Now, if this video helped you at least a bit with uh, updating your blocks and all other packages, give it a like and also share it with our developers who are surely going to find it beneficial too. Leave a comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you in the next video.